<laughs> the loading time that it takes for Scott to build anything is usually taken up by Aaron and Scott. Sorry, Aaron and Tazu moving around the hamster wheel. Hello everyone, and welcome to a little bit of a challenge build. Tazu had the idea of us all building recovery ships, was the name, Tazu? Yes, yes, yes. So we've all come up with a design of a recovery ship. Now, Tazu, if you want to explain what these recovery ships have actually got to do. This is a big thing. It goes on, latches on, and it takes it away. Yes, so the idea is we have that big ship up there that's wrecked. Just imagine you're in a survival scenario, and we've got these little ships to hopefully latch on and bring it to a repair area. We've also gone with the bonus task of sticking some repair drones on them. So we'll quickly go through each of the ships, see how they work. So if Tazu wants to hop in his first and bring it up to the ship above, and I will start the big ship drifting, if that's all right with him. So to make yeah. it a bit more challenging, and a bit more realistic, a ship will not be static. Okay, so it's still heading on its course. Maybe it was intercepted by pirates. Maybe the crew are already dead aboard. And he's got that middle sort of docking bay to clamp everything into. It looks like it's going to go quite well. It, it, the debate is, is his ship going to actually be able to stop the thing, though? Or is it just going to be too heavy? Again, it will stop it eventually, Anna. It's just not going to make take like a light here. Okay, he may have overshot the smooth part of the front. Ooh. Okay, so this is going to be a bit of a really? challenge here now. Really? Okay, he's going to get a clamp in. He needs to push down a bit, give it a little bit of thrust. Yes, we there believe. we go. believe. Okay, let's see if we can stop it now. Okay, he's got full reverse thrust on. Oh, and it looks like he's brought it to a stop. So the first part, the, stopped. the first task is complete. Now he's nice. got to bring it back to the pad. Has he got enough power in his gyroscope? So it looks like he's turning it. Where's it? So this, so so far, this is a valuable wrecking machine. So if Tazu, yeah. if you want to quickly demo your drones, maybe as well, when you get back towards the pad area. All right, so. Part one's complete. He's managed to get it back over here. This is this is quite a realistic situation, really, isn't it? Because yeah. um, you'll bump into this sort of problem where you have a ship that's wrecked and it's either just going to drift off completely uncontrollable. Which drone are you grabbing hold of, Tazo? You built quite Ooh, a few. To buy the ship. It's already... all yellow one. Oh, this one blower. Yeah, the, the dick shaped one. So just do some routine maintenance to maybe fix this. So maybe you need to find the priorities, probably getting the thrusters back online. So you need to probably find where the reactor's located, if, if you can. There you go. There we go. Okay, so I think Tazu's got a successful design. So we're on to Scott's test now, in his big blue dinosaur-looking shit. <laughs> it's got, like, dinosaur legs. So, so the thing with Scott's that I'm a bit worried about is his thrust pack's a lot less. Especially side, back, and front. Uh, but he has got a smaller contact area. So technically, he could probably dock in more places than Tazu's. What what, what are you going to work with here, Tazu? Uh, sorry, Scott. I'm going to find a nice flat bit. That bit right in the back of the ship looks like a good one. What do you think, Tazu? What are you thinking of Scott's design mm. overall? It looks like a dinosaur, as you said. I agree, yeah. Maybe a turkey. Maybe a turkey. Okay, so he's coming into dock. He's clamped it. Docking procedure was faster than Tazu's, but he's only got one leg on. He's only got one leg on. Disqualified. And it works, we have stopped. Probably. Okay, uh, let's just make sure he has actually stopped. So now I want you to rotate that and bring it parallel with the platform. Okay, right. So just bring it up. Hey, this is right, now you need to you need to stop it now and get your drone on it. Okay. Uh, is the drone working now? Oh, the dr the oh. drone may not be working. I think we should disqualify you from the drone as well, since I had to build it. Just out yeah, of that I factor. I started later than you guys, and I also have a slow builder. Right, okay, final go, my go. Okay, so the challenges with mine is I... Cut out, Aaron. What's that? Cut out. Oh yeah, because I'm concentrating. You lost all your drones. Yeah, no, just disconnected them then. Because I thought what may be easier. Again, you guys have added a lot of thrusters, I think more than you ever would need. Right, okay, so we're just going to bring it to a little bit of stop, and then we'll slide up the actual thing. But we oh, thought, the thing the thing is, with my designers, I thought, you know, that you don't want to just you, be able to pull a smaller ship like this as well. So we're just going to slide up the, like, the backbone of it. Um, and then we'll just clamp it. Oh, if we can. Oh, shit, I've bounced off. I've made it, I've made it go up now. Oh, you ready to make this challenge? Oh, you missed. Oh. Whoa. What the hell? Tazu's making extra challenges. Not me. 
Okay, Tazu, that is that is an interesting extra challenge you've added there. He's it's just like the ducking scene from Interstellar or Gravity. Or <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. That was mean, Tazu. Okay, right, we can do it still. We can still do it. Oh. Yes, oh. there we go. There we oh, go. Nice. <laughs> All right. You're only oh, you're only held on by like. Okay. Oh, we... Yeah, Justin, you were like, originally like one. All right. Okay, we've got enough connected to it. Right. So technically now we should we again, should have full control over it. Yeah, I think you're just a bit again. I think between your two designs, you're just a little overkill with thrusters. Yeah, true. I don't know about though the dock. The problem I've got is docking underneath like this, is you can't it. see as much you know where you're taking it. Yeah. But at the same time, like I mean, another player wouldn't be able to tell. Oh, Tazo, you bastard! It's not me. <laughs> it's you, Tazo. Don't we don't want to read out the scene from Spin Me Right Round. Fire effect's quite good in spinning. Spin. It does look pretty cool though, doesn't it? Very hypnotic. Hmm. But I mean, like, I, I cannot get... Can I actually get back in my ship? This is a realistic scenario, Aaron. What if a ship had a <laughs> gyroscope malfunction? Is what? that a hell of a gyroscope I... malfunction? Yeah, yeah. had puppies and children on board. What would you do? Save what? the children. Only puppies and children? Save the children. Right, hold on. I'm trying to get in my ship. That's the first thing I tried doing. I don't think you can stop that, even with your ship. Okay, well, we'll try. Hold on. All right, we're in. Uh, no shit dampeners, nothing's working. Uh, okay, we may have a problem here. Well, I think we, all the three of us need to try to stop this. Yes, maybe all three of us oh. need to. Oh no, what happened then? Fuck, it hit me. <laughs> you tried to stop me with your face, Tazzy. That's why it didn't work. I survived, though. My cockpit is floating off. Well, my one ship alone cannot stop this rotating mess. So, whoever the captain was before who had a gyroscopic malfunction can bloody salvage their own ship. You gotta give it a go, though, Scott. Oh, God. Just try clipping, you at least clip on and then you'll be on the same situation as me at the stuck onto the bottom. I don't know where to clip on. <laughs> Just lower it down, lower your ship down, the centre maybe of the gyroscopic failure. Yeah, that looks good, like, that looks good. I don't like this. Okay, it's good like, job. I'm, I'm easing down. At least you didn't, as long as you don't sp Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> right, I will try to dedock from the thing then. Oh god, I hit my ship again. Uh, okay. That is thing is really spinning I out won't. of control. Yes? What are you doing? I'm just disconnected. I wanted to see what happens if I disconnect. Like, if your ship is spinning out of control like that, can you get aboard that Tazu and possibly just, like, turn the gyroscope so they're off so I can see if I can actually connect to it? It's a person. Let's try and get into it as a person. It's really... Oh! Awesome. The answer to that is no. Yes, the answer, the answer is no. So if your ship... If your ship is spinning completely out of control and you're a repairman or a tow truck driver of the spaceship world, leave if, it. If it's spinning like that, yeah, leave, leave it. Leave it. The hell alone. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Something a bit different, a bit mad, and a bit of fun. Sadly, a survival video had a few issues today.